Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to make two in another episode of House Flipper. What we're doing now is plastering some of the walls in this house that we worked on in the last episode. Good news guys, if you are interested in getting House Flipper for yourselves, apparently it's on sale until December 17th, 23% off. That's very cool. So yeah, it's a good discount. As we said before, it's not a super expensive game, but getting a big discount like 23% is not to be sniffed at. We've been working on this house for the last couple of weeks. This is the garage and it's looking pretty good. We were going to start on decorating by putting in some furniture. We realized that we had to do a whole bunch of plastering and the walls are looking really ugly. But we are hoping to get a lot of the bones of the house in place and you'll get a sense of what it's going to feel like to live in. We've had a big discussion about where everything should go. And we've had some really useful comments as well that we've been thinking about before we started recording this video. We had a great suggestion to move the bathroom, I think over to this the, side of the house? No, the other side. To the this right. side of the house. Yeah. And that probably would be a better way to design the house. But we're house flippers and we want to save money and try and keep things a little bit easier for ourselves. We're going to leave it where it is. Also, just because this house is super small and there just isn't that much room to put, like we were thinking there were going to be two bedrooms and a bathroom in between them, but there just honestly isn't that much room. And if you look towards the back of the house, there is this exit onto this patio area. And if you put a bedroom there, then that means that the rest of the house loses access to that patio area. So we're kind of thinking that this area should be a living room kind of place. And yeah. this area over here is going to be a very small bedroom. Yeah, kind of this bit here would probably be the only internal walls apart that we're going to add apart from the ones for the bathroom over here. Mm -hmm. And then I think we spoke about a comment last time, a suggestion to put the kitchen over here right by the garage, which is a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then behind the kitchen, we're going to have a dining room. But to make sure that there's enough room for the kitchen counters and appliances and all that, we're going to move this door. <laughs> yeah, which means I've got to do some demolition. <laughs> Yay, demolition! So we're going to start with some demolition. I think we're going to, we have an idea to put the door kind of just between the kitchen and the dining, dining area. room. Yeah, we might wait just until we've put some stuff in in case we need to move things around. Yeah, because the kitchen for us, or for me anyway, in all of our various building games, it's always the most important part of the house just to make sure everything fits and works around the kitchen. And so we're going to try and do that first before building out the rest of the house. We might place a few items of furniture, like the bed, for instance, just to, so that we know how big the bedroom walls have to be and the dining table, maybe stuff like that. But we will see how far we get in this episode. Probably we're not going to finish the entire house and sell it in this one episode, but we hope we'll get a good bit of the way there. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We were thinking having a bit of a corner unit because we were... Let me I, just flip I back. was thinking maybe we should put the appliances in first and build okay. around the appliances. Were you still thinking of roughly having an L shape here for the kitchen stuff I want to see how big the appliances are. Okay. Let's do the appliances first. Uh, electric equipment, maybe? Okay, so like, a, yeah, refrigerator stack is probably what we're looking for. Or okay. Well, that's super skinny. <laughs> well, it's European. Remember, this game's European. <laughs> sure. How, how big is the mono compared? I think it's the same. same. All right. It's cheaper, though. Yeah, let's go for that one. Uh, light blue. Whatever color you want. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So one option would be Which over I think, here. I, I think that's weird to have it Yeah, by the right door. by the front door is a bit yeah. weird. But there's potentially room for it next to the window if we put it like a counter on the other side of it. I don't know. But I kind of like the idea of the appliances going along this wall. Yeah. Also, how big is the oven? See, that okay. these are things that we need to know. Do you want to put this in now? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the oven. Let's get those two in and then I think start looking at some cabinetry. Uh, let's see. Electric cooker. Sure. I didn't know that had all these other cooktops, though. Computer. Are they more expensive? Like the induction... All These are just stoves. Yeah. So there's only one cooker. One. These are cooktops. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't want an oven. But let's go for that one, the electro cooker. Okay, so this is your standard 600 mil wide. Yeah. <laughs> so let's move it over a little bit. I don't know if we're there would be room to like put a counter in between these two. Yeah, there, is there probably is space for a slim one, but we don't, I think, want to have the oven jutting up against the dining room here. But we might put something on the other on the right side of the oven. Exactly. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to put it here for now. Okay, you're putting exactly what I said not to do. But oh. Whatever, whatever. Where let's, did you want? let's put some counters in just to see how big the counters are. Yeah, I we think need to we... know how big the things are that we're working with. Exactly. I thought if we put a kitchen cabinet, probably have to like the skinny size. The skinny size, one of these ones. Yeah, sure. Let's Go for put it. this one in. That color's fine. Yep. Okay, you see now we have. Do you want to put a butt up against there? Sure. Why not? Right, and now. We can move this here. Mm -hmm. And then put another one of those on the other side of the oven between the two. Between, yeah, like that. Yeah. See, that looks more civilized. <laughs> now have... let's just move this a little bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, and this might change because this, you know, the other sizes of the countertops, it kind of all will have to fit together. Yeah, well, let's now maybe, there was a, we have corner units here. Okay. So you do corner on one side, and then you have a normal cabinet, I think, on the other. We had this in our last build. Right. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of space. Okay. So let's put that right up against there. Mm-hmm. And now do you want to shuffle everything down? Yeah, sure. This is not a very attractive refrigerator, but, again, we're house flippers. We're trying to make the best bang for our buck, the best profit compared to what we invest. So. We're not as concerned, especially at this level, where this is only our second house that we're flipping on the channel, so I think we're not at the point yet where we're making things totes beautiful, but maybe one day, maybe one day. Yeah, it'd be nice. I, I think there are ones that are two-story houses. That would be pretty fun. Cool. Okay, so we have this part here. I'm going to so, say a, a sink yeah, under the window. Yeah, let's get that sink unit. I think we're looking at this one to butt to go up against. Got it. Yeah. The, let's see. Rotate that one round. Come on. There we go. A little bit sticky. There we it's go. It's going to be real cozy kitchen. Maybe one over, I think. I mean, it's up to you. I don't know. I, I was, think I, I like was, a little bit. Do you think it's right there? Let's whatever you want. I wasn't making a judgment. I was just observing oh. that it was going to be a cozy kitchen. Okay. Now maybe one of these ones sure. next to it. I just want to see how much space we have. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do one more of those? Okay. Yeah. It's nice to have a counter space. Yeah. Nice to have counter space and somewhere to put your pots and pans <laughs> and your food. We will, uh, they'll probably want shelves like upper cabinets or yeah, something like that. Yeah. We could put they? one of these in again and then that gives us space here for some shelves. Okay. But if there was a nice corner unit for the upper cabinetry, that would be nice. But I don't know. There we go. Not many drawers. There's not many, not like a whole unit that's just yeah, drawers, which is a shame. The cabinets are not very diverse, are they? No, I think that's basically all we have. We have a modern hanging cupboard hex. Well, uh, if you go up, there is the open shelving here. Yeah. You don't You don't like that? Well, this seems it's... only 47. Okay. Let's uh, just see what it looks like. All right. Oh, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> Wait. You know, do you want to rotate? Yeah. Um, oh, um, that's really big. Yeah, there's no room for that. <laughs> no. Right, no room for that. Let's just go with the standard open shelves. Good thing about these ones are that they count as giving people places to put their books. So. Oh, really? Okay, so it yeah. shuts the talking heads up a bit. Yeah, exactly. Put one here. Sure. Right by the window. Another one next to it. Look, what an artistic bookcase. Okay, you guys are dumb. <laughs> Not all my documents will fit there. Don't worry, you're getting more. Sweet. Okay, it would be nice to have a place for all our books now. Great. Do you want to put any more in? <laughs> I don't know about just yet, but let's put a hood in for the oven. Yeah. Now, this is something I don't think anyone is going to care about this. Well, we care about it because yeah. I think it makes the kitchen look more finished and less of a fire hazard. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's put that in. Yep. Happy. Great. Okay, so that's actually a decent size kitchen. I mean, we could even put an island in if we wanted to, but we don't have yeah. to. But let's. Do you want to try putting in the dining table and see how that looks? I think that's a great idea. Uh, oh, tables. Yeah. There we go. So. Hmm. Just scrolling yeah, again, down. not I a lot of options. <laughs> table limb, table Andrea. Table Andrea seems a bit nicer. Okay. Uh, maybe in light wood. Sure. That seems fine. Yep. Rotated this way, I think. Yep, Probably definitely. makes sense for the space. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, that fits really well, I think. Yeah, there's probably enough space back. Uh, no, could move a little bit further back. Just well, a pinch. You won't know until you put the chairs in. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, just my pinch. <laughs> now let's put in some chairs. Chairs, great. Mm, okay, again, not much to choose from. No, I'm let's trying Let's see. This one is 44. <laughs> okay, seems fine. <laughs> yeah, by what color do you have a preference? Let's go for that. That looks nice. I like the flowers. Okay. That's lovely. Yeah, this place is going to look nice once we put in wall colors and stuff like that too, I think. Yeah. Now I know for those of you who are watching this and enjoying how fastidious we are with cleaning, I'm sorry that the walls are such a mess, <laughs> but we wanted to get everything in first before we start doing the decorating. Yeah, just make sure that the space works for the furniture. Exactly, yeah. This is not how Joanna Gaines of... <laughs> Was it... Is there a show called House Flipper? No, there's a called Fixer Upper. Fixer Upper, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going for six chairs. Yeah, I mean, that, go for it. <laughs> yeah. But they would probably have a computer program like this to sketch it out before they do it in real life. Yes. So, you know, we're doing our best. Now, one thing that we need to do over here is put in a door to the garage. Right. So I think Perfect I want to get that done now. I need to demolish four bits of wall. I'm going to do this one. Let's see. Knock it at the bottom. All oh, this lovely plaster we did for That's a couple okay. of bucks. That's okay. It was cheap. Hopefully there will be enough room for a door here to not look too awkward. Yeah, I hope so as well. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, see, once you knock out the walls, you'll then have to put in lintels again. Yeah, okay. but there's a we haven't actually done that before, so we will add in a little lintel when this is finished. Let's is this see. only three? I Can't think that tell. was four. Let's see. Cool. We've got Perfect. Only one dollar. Just got to build it. One. Such a weird sound that it makes. It's like bricks <laughs> just rubbing against each other. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And it doesn't look awkward at all, I think. I think. <laughs> Come on. There you go. I'd quite like to put the door in. Yeah, let's do just that. Just to see what it's like. Yep. Where were our doors? Um, doors and windows. Thank you. A white mm. door. Doors are so expensive. Yeah, they are. It's oh. really unfortunate. And we definitely can't pay doors, huh? I don't think so. Somebody asked that on last week's video, didn't they? Mm. I mean, too late now, basically, because we got rid of the doors. I'm pretty sure that we can't. I did try. Yeah. I did try. Come on, little person. They always seem very difficult to place, don't they? Yeah, there we... And once you place it, you're stuck. That seems right. Right there, yeah. Right there? Yeah. Flush. Snapped. Yeah. Cool. Sweet! Yay! Yeah. This is a totally functional space, I think. Yeah. It makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yay. And if we wanted to later, we could add maybe a bit more counter space in the kitchen, but I think it's nice and open and inviting. So, yeah. you know. What I'll do, I might put, if it was our house, mm -hmm. put a little shelf here or a shelf here. Sure. So your car keys or whatever could stay there so <laughs> before you go and you have ready access to them. Now, okay, that's kind of this part done. There's obviously a lot of walking space. The problem with this layout and it's, you know, it's partly on us, is that when you're making a house, you need to have enough space to walk around. Mm -hmm. And because the front door's in the middle, mm -hmm. we have to leave this, you know, basically corridor space here along this line as well. Mm -hmm. So we can't build in it. We can't put any furniture in here. So it feels a little bit wasted, but we'll make it feel nice and airy. And the same over here, we have to have enough space to get through to what is going to be the living room back here. But now I think we need to start on the bedroom. Okay. So we can get that in and then we'll put the walls in so you can see what the house is going to look like in its full shape. Furniture. So I think we're going to have a double bed. Yep. That's the cheapest one. This one. Right? Or, oh, the other one looked kind of nice and rumply. Yeah. Ooh, how pretty. Wood, different colored woods. Sure. Let's go for a wood one. And... Let's go for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go for that middle one. Ooh. Pillows. I actually match the... Yes. There we go. Yep, that looks great. That looks great. Buy that. Yay! Okay. Ooh, how cozy looking. That is really nice, actually. Okay, so we were thinking that it would make a little more sense to have the bed go the other way. To go this way? Yeah, so that we at least then have more space for the living room. Oh, okay. 
So I'm just going to put it here for now. Okay. Although the wall is going to have to go on the outside of this window, isn't it? No matter what we do. That's true. Yeah. Let's just rotate it and see. Mm -hmm. I think we, well, we're going to buy this bed. Let's just yeah, buy yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, I actually think there's enough space. If you put the wall, this side of this wall socket, like basically where this line is, um, we've removed this, this panel. Okay. I think there's enough space to come in. What do you think? Nice bedroom, why only one? Well, because we want to have nice bedrooms. <laughs> there is definitely enough space in this house for two bedrooms, but it would be pokey and unpleasant. I wonder, are we going to be able to get back I know, a lot of yeah. money off it's of this gamble. now? It's a gamble. It's a gamble. Oh dear. So okay, you it, want to start building a wall? Yeah, is there any more furniture we need to put in here? We need to put in bedside tables, fine. Yeah, and a wardrobe. Um, probably a wardrobe, but that might just be able to slip in on the side there. And some guy wants a TV in the bedroom. Yeah, they so. always want a TV in the bedroom. All right, let's build a wall. Okay. Can I move this first? No. Okay, let's build the wall. Do we think here? Yeah. <laughs> what a noise it makes. Let's just see, am I on the right line? Yeah. It's kind of like Minecraft, placing <laughs> blocks, isn't it? Okay, so here is... Oh, we have a new building skill available. I wonder oh. if that means it'll go faster. Tab, building skill. Okay, we haven't done any upgrades. Right. We haven't done any building. Um, yeah. Faster. Sure, The build wall is already painted. Um... What does that even mean? We want we want to be able to paint things ourselves, right? Yeah, okay. Let's do this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Things could be faster then. I guess. <laughs> Why are you leaving spaces, by the way? Uh, just so before I build the entire wall, we have a sense of, is oh, there okay. enough? Yeah, but I think this is... That's plenty of room for a bedroom. Like, how big does a bedroom need to be? Yeah. As long plenty. as it's got space for a TV... <laughs> We're good. Yeah. So, what are we watching lately? We just finished this crazy documentary called Dogs on Netflix. Crazy. Crazy because it wasn't what we were expecting, and it was a bit of a tearjerker. Bit of a tearjerker. And it was about dogs, <laughs> but it wasn't... We were hoping it would just be a whole bunch of good boys and girls romping around, having fun. Uh, and it was more about the people who have the dogs than the dogs themselves. But it was it was good. It was about the, whole. the relationship between humans and dogs and different locations around the world, different sit life situations. Yeah. So the first episode, as I've been trying to explain it to, to people, is it's about... By the about, way, where's the door for the bedroom? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, we can't go on the corner. So let's put the corner in first. Wait, do you have four blank spaces here? Because I would have said that the door could be right here. It can't be right here. Why not? Because it can't be on the corner. It what? can't be literally here. I meant the blank space that you can see yeah, right here. here. This yeah, this one. No, this is only three, but well, we'll knock one down. Yeah, we'll knock one down. Okay. Yeah, so the first episode is about service dogs for kids. Mm -hmm. And it starts off with this family and one of the daughters has really bad epilepsy and she's going to get her service dog after waiting for a year so you have a whole bunch of kids who are obviously really suffering in need of animals these really great incredibly well-trained animals to take care of them but also these kids are suffering and the families are going through hardships trying to obviously make sure their kids do well in life and these dogs have a massive difference and that's super cute but it's also a tearjerker because you know kids who Mm -hmm. need service dogs and yep. have diff varying disabilities it was sad let's put the lintels in yeah and then the second episode we're not trying to spoil anything but just wanted to let you know that the first two episodes were major tear jerkers for us so the second episode was about a guy who had escaped syria as a refugee oh, geez. and had to leave his dog behind and <sighs> it was about the struggle of all of this guy's friends to get his dog to him where he had escaped to. And all of these people had bonded with the dog over the time that they spent with the dog. And it was such a good boy's husky, beautiful husky dog. I mean, like, it was just, it was too much. We were just sobbing on the couch. It yeah. Was, it was, yeah. it was really good. And I think what was, it seemed to be this beautiful husky dog that everyone loved. It was 
everyone who couldn't escape Siri themselves. Mm, that was sad. Yeah, they were looking to save the dog as a kind of a proxy for saving themselves. Yeah. They couldn't get themselves out, but they could at least get this beautiful dog out. Yep. <sighs> it was a lot for us. It was a lot. Oh, this yeah. is great. Cozy, cozy, mm-hmm. cozy. I actually like the exposed brick. <laughs> oh, for once you like an exposed brick. Yeah, for once in my life. <laughs> okay, any more furniture we want to put in here right now? Or should we get on to the living room space? Let's go on to the living room space. I think it's actually... The flow is pretty bad. good. Yeah, I do think maybe there... I don't know if there's quite enough space for an island, but there, it feels like there's space for a little something something here. But. Mm-hmm. Maybe just needs a rug. Okay, we're going to get to furniture building. What else have we been watching? We have been prepping up for the season, the holiday season, with some Christmas-themed movies as well. Mm -hmm. We watched the first Christmas movie, which was Little Women. And then we watched Two Weeks Notice. That's not Christmas-y. No, we watched Little Women, and then we watched While You Were Sleeping. Yes. And then we watched Two Weeks Notice because... Sandra Unfortunately, Bullock. we got waylaid into a Sandra Bullock cul-de-sac. Unfortunately? What do you mean? You love her. Yeah, oh, she, he's got she's such awesome. a crush on her. She's uh, probably one of your your five allowed or something what? like that. I don't. You heard the, you know what I'm talking about, I know about, what I'm right? talking about. Let's go for the elegant sofa. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Ooh. Nope. Nope. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah, she she's good, and I definitely want to watch Gravity next, or Gravity at some point soon. I think on the other wall, and then maybe the TV can go across from it. You think here? Yeah. Okay, we like do Like centered have... under the window. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit out, because we're going to need space to put the radiator in. Oh, right, okay. Just fix it back later. Okay. So I think that's quite centered. Not. <laughs> no. <sighs> So I had really loved While You Were Sleeping when I was younger, but I think it hasn't aged that well. Like, mm-hmm. it's a little bit shady. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think they do her character pretty well in that she doesn't really want to do the bad thing of not telling the family what's going on. Mm-hmm. But likewise, she doesn't tell them what's going on. Yeah. But there are other characters who actually, like, make it harder for her. Mm-hmm. But it's generally sketch all around. It's sketch, yeah. And then it ends. But Two Weeks Notice is really good. What really are we thinking good. about this? In the middle? Yeah. Yep. We also need to put one in the bedroom so while I'm here. Yeah, just to make that one, one talking head happy. Yeah, he always wants... But wait, you can plaster behind the TV? I assume that we're going to have to plaster all of this in oh, order yeah. to paint all of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about plastering, actually. But yes, we will, ha- we will, com- we can paint behind. Because you might like exposed brick, but I'm not sure that these guys yeah, like exactly. exposed brick. Exactly. Now, we need a bit more furniture in here. Coffee table? Yeah, I was just thinking, okay, let's put in one coffee table and then let's get into the wall painting okay. and maybe yeah. you wanted to replace some floor stuff. I think maybe the kitchen could do with some tile, maybe, to just make sh- make it clear that it's sure. the kitchen. We've got to do the bathroom. Um, we got a lot, a lot going on. Sure. Done. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we probably want to watch a few more holiday themed. There isn't any living room. What, what if, if some, some girls come by? Do you not understand open plan? I think we might have to put this as a as a wall. Mm-mm. No, we're not going to bow to that guy. We'll see how it okay. goes. If we lose money, we lose money. So be <laughs> it. Right. We want to do the floor. I was going to say, if you have any ideas for good christmas themed movies but not really about christmas but about things that happened at the time the other one on our list is love actually oh we've seen that so many times yeah though. yeah and you were thinking die hard i was thinking die hard yeah. uh-huh. we were going through christmas movies so we want to have tile on the kitchen floor could try yeah since you have put down that really conspicuous was, sample of wood for Yeah, I was there. just trying to see, can I match up the the rest of it? I don't think I could. All right, I'm thinking a light color, a big color. This one? A big, yeah, that one. This or one. there's also like blue, white, hard to go wrong with the lighter colors. Do it. Cool. Um, and this is the easy stuff, right? Putting down floors? Yes. Yay! So you have it right up to here. Sure. And then here. I think one more, or maybe two more, maybe here. Well, that's getting a little big, especially if we're not putting anything in the space in between. Oops. I mean, maybe we should try to put some sort of islandish. Yeah, I don't think I don't think these talking heads are going to care. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, right, that so... actually has really brightened it up. Oh, I do need to do this bit because this is awful. Right, but do you want to redo? 
The whole floor? The whole floor? Or maybe not. The floor is in a decent enough condition. The floor condition. is in decent condition, yeah. Okay, so then we should just tile that part. Yeah, okay. Let's just do this one strip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm regretting my decision to tile. I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, it's done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need a door for the bathroom, but yeah, we... we so one thing at a time. Okay, so do we need to plaster all this brick in order to paint? Um, I don't know. Let's get some paint out mm -hmm. because we know we need paint and then we'll see what we need to do. Paint, 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 walls, walls, paints. Yeah, all these premium what? colors. And then when you scroll down, you get to the more basic colors or maybe not. Actually, they're yeah, they're they're cheaper up top. So, do you want to go for the cheaper ones? <laughs> let's go for the cheap light cream. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Buy many whole house. All light cream. I mean, maybe. Okay, let's do let's do oops let's do some painting and see. Let's check specifically what we can do over here. Yeah, it looks like we can paint straight on. Ooh. Okay. Then why do we need to plaster anything ever? Because that's wall with a hole in it. <laughs> I guess. But then, you know, the exposed brick next to smooth wall is sort of the same thing texture-wise. Whatever game. Yeah, but I don't know if we can actually make exposed brick. It'd be nice if we could strip the paint off and leave the exposed brick. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we have that option. Well, either way, a coat of fresh paint definitely helps everything look cleaner and nicer. It does have that nice squishy sound when we do it. <laughs> Which is your favorite sound so far then? I think the painting. The painting? Okay. Yeah, it's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I like the sound of the bricks crumbling. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you're talking about asmr -y sounds, I do agree that the paint sound is pretty good, but the brick crumbling just pretty good as well. <laughs> Feels productive. Sounds productive. Now also I can get to something that is pretty mindless to do, rather than concentrating on placing complicated furniture items. Mm. Which is actually, I think, one of the fun bits of the game. You can kind of zone out while you do this. Mm. And just, you know, hold your, hold your mouse buttons down and just move along. And we can talk about movies some more. Or we could talk about what I've been watching on YouTube. I spent the weekend... So we talked in the last video about James Charles and Jeffree Star. So mm -hmm. then this weekend, I went and watched all of Shane Dawson's episodes about Jeffree Star, which is like, I think it was like four or five four. part yeah. series and pretty in depth like he got into all jeffrey's entire production of all of his makeup lines he got into his house which was crazy he has like a whole wall of arcade machines and, and a lot of gucci a lot of gucci fancy cars Lots of dogs. <laughs> Lots of dogs, all beginning, all the names all begin with D. That was pretty cute. Yeah, it was very cute. Yeah. And I don't know, it's kind of interesting to see Shane's content being like this. I basically I kind of missed the boat. I know that Shane's been doing this stuff for most of 2018. He's kind of moved to this documentary style huh. of content, but I had not been watching any of them because like, he was doing stuff for like about Jake Paul. He did like an eight episode thing about Jake Paul. And I'm sorry, oh, guys, okay. if you like Jake Paul, but I just don't have time in my life to watch an eight part series about Jake Paul. So, you know, like regardless of whether it's a fluff piece for him or more of a realistic piece about Jake Paul, I just don't have the time. Sorry. But he also did a couple of episodes about Tana Monjo. I don't know if you know her. Uh, no, I don't. She is apparently a vlogger who decided she didn't want to do VidCon because she felt slighted by VidCon not giving her a premium space as, you know, like a creator to meet or something like that. Okay. So she decided to throw her own con and she called it TanaCon. Right. People who know about this are probably groaning right now, but <laughs> it was it was a snafu. It was awful. Uh, so I guess the people that she contracted with to put on this event didn't have any experience throwing events. Oh, no. She also did not have experience throwing events. Oh, no. So what they did was they sold too many tickets for the venue that they chose. Right. And... that is. Oh, I think I did hear about this. You did? Okay. I didn't connect to the... It, yeah, yeah. It went terribly wrong. It went terribly wrong. <laughs> Thousands of kids were... 
stranded outside the venue because they were not allowed to be let in and it was a california summer day so they were out in the heat and the oh, sunshine no. the venue did not have any food or water for them people were saying that they were lined up outside in the hot sun for literally six hours or more oh my god they got sunburned badly and then even the ones who got in when they got their gift bags like the gift bags were just crappy they were full of just really cheap stuff and yeah so people were really unhappy and also physically hurt and you know some people had had spent a lot of money to come out and meet not just Tana, but also other creators like Shane Dawson had promised to be there. And I guess he was there, but, you know, they couldn't get in to see him because they were just all stuck outside. Wow. Yeah. So it was a big old deal. And so Shane did a couple of episodes with her trying to get to the bottom of what had happened and, you know, figuring out who was at fault, I guess. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's our cat. Hi. It's getting towards her dinner time. And yeah, so I was watching some of that. <laughs> right. So he, it was interesting. I don't know um, him at all, but watching the documentary, the four parter, was interesting. Like it was, it was a proper. It was done obviously semi. You mean about Jeffrey? Yeah, semi amateurly. They clearly weren't like making an HBO documentary, but generally the production and content was really high. I was yeah. super impressed with just like one relatively small crew making just a pretty cool documentary about a really big internet celebrity who's now like a really big businessman was yeah it was good i was impressed well as you said you don't know that much about shane but he is a big internet celebrity no i i know that he's been on youtube for a long time but yeah i i could tell that a lot of work went into the production of the videos because there were always lots of clips to Mm -hmm. contextualize what he's talking about yeah Um, yeah editing was really good yeah uh, I read this article today about the biggest competitor to Netflix. The CEO of Netflix used to say that the biggest competitor to Netflix was people sleeping. Uh, <laughs> okay. And this article was talking, actually, it's not necessarily about people sleeping, but it's YouTube. And particularly in countries like India, where YouTube is apparently massive. And I think there's, you know, there's one channel with 60 million subscribers in India. There's maybe a thousand channels in India with people who have over a million subscribers. So YouTube is massive. It does feel like in some ways more the future of television than Netflix. So what kind of paint are you looking for now? I don't know. These two are gone. Okay. I'm happy to do the same everywhere, but I'll take your, I'll take cues from you. Sure. Let's do the same everywhere. (laughs) I mean, it's kind of an upgrade. Let's do instant, um, instant faster painting. painting. Yeah, <laughs> please. Geez. I think that it's hard to visualize. And again, we're trying to be as cheap as possible. So yeah, let's go for what we can now. If we think, oh, you, I was going to say maybe different we can color sell in the it. bedroom. We can sell it. Yeah. Anyway, I was going to say it's kind of hard to visualize until we actually do it. But it's inoffensive to say a cream paint everywhere. Like, just, exactly. you know, it's fine. Yeah. So what do you think you spend more time watching? YouTube or Netflix? YouTube, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to know, you guys watching this, are you more, you spend more time on Netflix or more time on YouTube? If you have Netflix, obviously. Yeah, Not or equivalent if you it. have Amazon Prime or Hulu or one of those. Do you mm-hmm. think you spend more time watching those? Or watching something, yeah, watching YouTube. For me, it's probably close. It's probably YouTube as well. You watch s- lots of Let's Plays and stuff. Yeah, I watch Let's Plays and things like Stephen Colbert's The Late Show is on mm-hmm. um, YouTube. So things that are on traditional TV, but they have clips like SNL does the same. I'll watch those on YouTube, even though that is traditional TV. It's just that's the medium I watch it on. Yeah, I also think that you could just be on YouTube and go down a rabbit hole and find yes. all kinds of things to watch. Whereas on Netflix, you kind of have to go in and make a choice and you kind of, you can binge watch, obviously, TV shows on Netflix, but there's just not that same feeling of getting lost and following one video after another to another to another and, you know, looking up yeah, you however also- long later and... You also like the comments, so you can get lost in the comments, which will direct you to a different topic to search. Mm -hmm. Because obviously there's so much content on on YouTube about absolutely everything. I also find for me it's a bit more, you can watch it in small chunks. Like I can watch a 10-minute review of a video game 
or 20 minutes let's play or five minute let's play uh, for something much more easily than getting into five minutes. Suddenly you have a drama show on Netflix where you have to pay attention. Well, there's another thing that we have not yet tried. We know about it, but we haven't tried it yet. YouTube is now starting to stream movies for free. You oh, can, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole playlist. I will try and hunt it up and link to it in the video description below. But for people who don't mind having a few ads running during your movies, you can get huh. a pretty decent selection on this playlist. And I guess they're going to add more as they go on. Yeah, I mean... You there's adverts on normal TV, so no, but like on Netflix, for instance, you pay for Netflix and oh yeah yeah, you know, yeah. You're just but this watching. is on YouTube. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we watch. Uh, I think we've spoken before about watching K dramas, and we're currently using Vicky mm -hmm. to watch K dramas, and that is supposed to have adverts. Uh, we don't pay for it, but for some reason, on the pl on like our TV, it doesn't show us ads. So. Yeah, we've done pretty well. We're we'll good with it. <laughs> yeah, we're using like the official Vicky app on Apple TV, so it's, it's nothing like untoward about it at all. Obviously, no content blockers in any way, and just no ads. So it doesn't remember our position at all, which it should do. So swings and roundabouts. Another thing I'm watching on YouTube these days is Vlogmas because a lot of vloggers or just straight up any type of YouTuber will decide to take on the challenge of doing one video per day for all of December until Christmas. So the ones that I'm watching are Naomi Smart, who is a British lifestyle type of channel. Mm -hmm. And she does pretty entertaining vlogmases because she lives a really glamorous life these days. She gets lots of sponsorships from makeup and fashion and gets invited to lots of events and things like that. And she's also got a really lovely flat and a super perfect boyfriend. Where who buys her loads of gifts when well, he's away, is Okay, right? so he is, apparently he was away for three weeks, which coincided with her Vlogmas, the first two weeks of her Vlogmas. So oh. he, like, set her up with this basket or a hamper full of small gifts. And she was supposed to open one every day that he was gone. And so she's been doing that as part of her vlogmas as well. Wow. Yeah, really sweet. Yeah, a lot of her subscribers think that he will propose at the end of the time that he's away. Like, he'll come back and be like, pop in the question, and that'll be his final Christmas gift or something. Goodness. Well, it sounds like that is a lifestyle made for TV. I mean, made well, for YouTube. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a pretty charmed life, she leads. Yeah. And I've been watching videos about Nintendo Switch games because we just got a Nintendo Switch. Mm. And I'm really enjoying playing with it. But we've only got a couple of games. But I'm just finding out what the good games are, what some deals are. What was the one that you spent hours on this weekend? Yeah, while you were watching um, the Jeffrey documentary, I was playing Celeste. And I was trying <laughs> to... Com it's a really good game where you're playing this girl who's trying to climb a mountain because she just wants to prove to herself that she can because she's having difficulties in her personal life, I think. Right. So it's all pretty, you know, well done emotionally. It's a platform game, right? Yes, yeah, a platform game. And I had to control her and be jumping from one place to another place. And I died like maybe a, <laughs> literally a thousand times between 500 and a thousand times to get this one room cleared. And at the end, my arms hurt. You were frustrated. And I was frustrated. Lots of people online talk about, you know, struggling with the game and dying a lot. I don't know if they've died as much as me. But well, what, what was your ballpark estimate of how many I times think you so died? so far I've died like two and a half thousand in total. Thousand? And thousand? I'm on chapter four of thousand. seven. Yeah. Literally thousand? Mm -hmm. How yeah. can that be? The game does tell you, it said, don't worry about dying. The more you die, the more you're learning. So... I'm learning a lot. <laughs> Jeez. Now, I've overbought the paint, so we could just do this. Let's just do it. <laughs> let's finish this. Let's put in a bathroom door, and maybe we'll move on and leave the rest for the next episode. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been playing Celeste, and my hands hurt. And even though it's really frustrating, I'm like, why? And I'm swearing out loud to myself or to the game. I actually still come back. I still just want to do it, because when I do manage to pull off that move, it is a sense of satisfaction and every single room in is a little puzzle. Mm -hmm. So it's both, I've got to be incredibly well coordinated, which I'm not at video games, and also solve the puzzle. There are ways of making the game easier, which I could do, but the game designers kind of say in the game, hey, try not to use these ways of making it easier. Try just to play it through as we made it 
Yeah, so, well, don't you think your sense of accomplishment is bigger if it's harder? Sorry. I guess That's, so. It sounds like EA. <laughs> <laughs> you really? heard about the most downvoted comments in Reddit history being EA game community person saying about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Something oh, yeah. like we... I don't know what the exact problem was with the game, but basically EA's response was, well, we wanted you guys to feel a sense of accomplishment and pride and... Yeah, people yeah. were like not having it. So anyway, uh, yeah, but don't you feel that is an issue or I do, you know, the yeah. reward in Celeste? Uh, I don't know if I'm getting better. I did play through chapter one again one evening and it took me, you know, hundreds of deaths the first time and it took me far fewer deaths going through the second time and I did it pretty quickly. And it's got lots of secrets and things and it's made for speed running, which is a whole rabbit hole to get lost in on YouTube. Speed running. Yeah, so... Let's say you're playing Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. and normally it might take, you know, a normal person 10 minutes to get through a level. A speedrunner will do it in like 50 seconds because of, you know, they've spent literally dozens of hours playing that one level to get it absolutely perfect, like knowing when to jump, knowing the weird shortcuts to take, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And some games are built for speedrunning, like the game I'm playing now, Celeste, and they just make it easy for you to kind of go through the game fast, even tracks like my fastest time that I've gone through. So it's made for that kind of thing as well as having a story. I don't think I'm going to get an amazing speed run record on it, <laughs> but it's fun to play. Then I'm going to move on to a bit more Skyrim, I think. Yeah. How are we doing in Skyrim these days? We completed our first dungeon. Uh, we killed a nasty spider and we found some treasure and I got a little bit better at fighting things. <laughs> And then we spent some nice time in a village learning to make things, I think, which is a still a bit confusing. But now we have walked to another town. There's so many missions that keep piling yeah. up. Like anytime you interact with somebody, it's like, here's another thing you could potentially do. But you could also just wander off. We could just head north and just keep walking north. Yeah, and we could be ignore fine. the missions. Yeah. yeah, which is kind of tempting. <laughs> Just to say, like, what if we did just go north until the world stopped? Oh, that must be something that people have done, like just like oh, I'm, I'm Minecraft. Sure. And yeah, that. exactly. It's not as big as Minecraft, but I think it is like multiple, maybe like a dozen square miles. But also just as you explore, your map becomes more mapped out, right? So yeah, it's not a bad thing to do or not a bad way to play the game. Yeah. For me, I kind of like the the rhythm of going somewhere that is a little bit dangerous mm -hmm. and then going somewhere which is not dangerous that I like. So going to a village where I know I'm not going to get eaten alive is nice, gives me a break from getting scared about these skeleton monsters coming to get me. Okay, so let's put in a door to the bathroom Yep. at the very least and maybe a back door as well. So we'll have all our doors in place and then we can, I guess, end this episode and save the rest for the next one. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to go for our classic white door. So expensive. <laughs> Crazy. We Done. could change the floor in the bathroom. We could the do. Tile. Yeah. We could do. And now let's have an exterior door, unfortunately. White. Sure. Sure. Yeah, so fiddly. Why doesn't it just automatically snap to where yeah, it is? Yeah, there's not many be. places that a door can go. I guess that sounds right, yeah. Cool. Yay! We have placed basic amounts of furniture. Yeah, and look at this. we have a layout that I think works okay. It's not the best, obviously, but it's a small house, as we said. Yeah, and I think maybe a little console table here would be good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't think the flippers would care. The I'm still buy looking at this crazy amount of kitchen tile and wondering whether we should try to add more counters around here. So maybe we could go for like a U-shaped kitchen or something like that. Yeah, we can think about it. So guys, let us know in the comments what you think about our progress so far. Sorry that it has taken so long, but we, you know, are still <laughs> new with this and we're kind of figuring out what's available in the game and how to make a completely open and empty shell into something livable. But yeah, if you guys have any comments or suggestions of how to spruce it up that little bit to make sure we get maximum profit for whoever's going to buy it from us, please do let us know. The feedback so far from you, the suggestion has been really, really helpful. So please do let us know. In the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more House Flipper on the way. Thanks for watching.